I've tried over 500 contact banks and today I'm here to show y'all my top five libraries of all time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get straight to it. First, I gotta start off with a Spitfire bank where my favorite one by far is Solstice. An extremely versatile bank that has truly unique synth sounds and realistic unique orchestral sounds like strings, brass, woodwinds, and even stuff like mallets, choirs, and even percussion all packed into a few compact interfaces. Just an insane bank, probably one of the most unique ones out there. But I'll be talking too much again. It's time for some sound examples. I think I gave a pretty good representation of this library back when I first showcased it. So let's run the footage. Uh, come on, don't do me. Come on. Like this. this is perfect for Dark Chef. This live is so good, I can't even understand it. Honestly, when listening back to these sound examples, I'm truly shook again what a content library can do. Like how much detail and how much life, how much feel this library gives you. But anyways, let's move on to my second favorite library. By the way, these are not in order. These are just my top five called Taster One by the Phono Loop. Probably the best realistic synth library out there. Really, really unique presets. You got everything from more simpler key sounds, lead sounds, bass sounds, to truly complex evolving textures, sequences, drones, with an astonishing amount of artifacts, texture, and ear candy. Again, I showcased this library before, so let's listen to those sound examples. Just the shape. Just the wear makes it really vintage. I'm done showing y'all this bang, bro. Like, right, come on, bro. What is it? Why does it sound like this? Come on now, dog. What preset? What bang? You know, or what? I was definitely tripping back then when I first showcased this library because I was just so shook, like it was so good. Usually it's really my first reaction, my first time actually taking a deep dive into the banks I show while I'm recording the video. <laughs> For my third favorite library, we got Far, 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 Far Light? We got Far Light, Far Light, bro, how do you pronounce this shit? By Native Instruments, I feel like I just had to include at least one Native Instruments library. You know, it's Contact by Native Instruments, so it would be a pretty big bummer if there would be no library by the company that made Contact in its own top five. Like, Also, let me know in the comments if you say Contact Library or Contact Bank. A lot of people have like clown me in the past because I used to always say contact bank, but I feel like that's still right. Contact library is cool too, obviously, but um, we don't care. let me show y'all some sound examples. Just beautiful. It's kind of hard to explain what exactly this library is. It's like a mixture between choirs, vocals, and that's pretty much it.
the mixture between like this vocal and this nice analog synth sound is just amazing. Combined with this grain delay like, reverb effects things that. All right, let's get to my fourth favorite library of all time, which is truly a classic and probably one of the most famous non-native instrument libraries there is and just an essential for every producer, honestly. It's the Vintage Upright Piano by Simple Sam Samples, the best vintage realistic sounding piano. Perfect for layers, perfect for piano bass notes in your samples and just an absolutely essential like I already said, especially if you make some sort of realistic samples in some sort of way. Saving the best for last, my absolute favorite contact library of all time. Some of y'all may guess it already. It's the Roland Phantom X library, which has all the sounds from the Roland Phantom X. Classic sounds in here from e-pianos, normal keyboards, melods, organs, like y'all see the list, like <laughs> extremely fire sounds. What makes this library so great is that a lot of these sounds have been used in timeless records in the past and are therefore somewhat familiar, somewhat recognizable to the normal listener, which just makes these sounds so much more usable. Yeah, again, I've showed this library already. So let's jump right back into some sound examples. Uh... It sounds so good too, for basically being a sound farm. Man, it's just so cool to use these presets, use these sounds without having to spend a few thousand dollars on a real Phantom X. Like for real, if you still don't have this library, make sure to get it somehow. If you can't find it anywhere, hit me up in my Patreon DMs and I got y'all. And when we already at the topic, make sure to check my Patreon out in general. There's just so much sauce on there, There's so much stuff. Like I think I'm like 70 posts up by now, full of exclusive tutorials, sound design tutorials, presets for every type of plugin imaginable, other sounds, textures, accents, phrases, samples. There's just an insane amount of stuff can get for still only I think $12 so get it while you can because I'm not gonna run my patreon like that for much longer that's it with this video hope I could put y'all on or put y'all back on to some of my favorite contact banks of all time maybe y'all already knew a lot of these but just kind of forgot about them and I'm now getting reminded again how great some of these libraries really are if that's the case please like and subscribe to help with the algorithm and with that being said thank y'all for watching I'm out.